Hello and welcome to Bhagavad Gita study. Today we are going to look at four main hurdles or excuses that we give um, to study Gita. To not study Gita actually. I won't say it's excuses, not in the sense where, oh, people are giving excuses not to do this, not like that. But I can say they are hurdles in our mind that we think that we cannot do this, but it's not as bad as we think. So, before we go ahead, I'm not somebody who is a seasoned YouTuber. I uh, I don't know any tools or editing or anything like that. So, I just thought I'll just print out something. And just show it to you. I don't have um, other means to do this. I don't even know how to subtitle and things like that. So the first reason I have here. The first reason we tell ourselves. Is I have no time. I'm busy. It is true. It is true that we are leading a very busy life nowadays. Even children are feeling its effects. They are always expected to do this and that. They have they are enrolled in like 15 classes. They, they learn music, dance and studies and this. And so much to do. And we are always running. So when do we get time for contemplation or study or uh, scripture like this? It's, it's really difficult. It's... Uh, the, the when we when we say we are busy it seems like oh my god where am i going to take time off of this but there are methods and tools to handle this hurdle i want to show you something for those that have no time or less time there is this app which looks like this bhagavad gita if you are able to see this if it's focusing, yes. It's with that conch shell uh, one. There are other apps uh, called Bhagavad Gita. There are many apps called Bhagavad Gita. This is the one that I like best for several reasons. I'll try to show. So this comes with all the chapters li listed like this. And all the chapter slokas are right there. So you can jump between slokas. So I'm going to go to 114. If you see this, uh, or you know what, I'll go to a better one which has a purport. Yeah, this is a good example. So, this has the Sanskrit version, English version, word by word meaning, and just a line of that meaning. And you have Vishwana Chakravati Thakur's commentary. Or you have Prabhupada's, I think, you can choose between. So, you can choose between when you download, it asks you which commentary do you want to add. This, for example, just takes three minutes to read. And it's not as hard uh, that we say that we don't have time for a single verse for a day. Study is going to be lifelong. It's not going to be like the day we read this, we are going to be Brahma Jnanis. That's not going to happen. That being the case, why don't we just start it now? You know, we when we have the time and the tools, I think we can start it. This, these things just take 10 minutes of our time to do one verse or even lesser for a verse that doesn't have a big purport like this. And you can choose to do only the meaning for the day. That is just two or three minutes of study every day. And the good thing about Gita, Sri Samrita Vashini, I told you, she just showers upon you the knowledge. Once you read one line or one verse, it just keeps ringing in you and you start to contemplate the whole day. The next thing that uh, in context of time uh, that I want to recommend again and again and again is this one from Swami Nikhilananda which has just the meanings of the verses and look at this how how short are these verses you just have to read one verse a day that's it it'll carry you through so i have no time can be easily handled by a good book which just has short meanings or an app that gives you the meaning of each verse and you can start your study there and uh, it just slowly you know Pulls you in any way you know any spiritual knowledge any spiritual study it becomes you t acquire a lot of taste for it and it just you want to do it more and more that's how it is so 
once you start there when you think of it before you start it feels like oh my god how am i going to do this i'm always busy i myself i'm a mom and you know i have a family husband and everybody to take care of so you know we we need to find 5 10 minutes each day to do this and then it just uh, it just the day just adjusts itself the second one that we always say is it's too difficult and again i'm going to bring the same thing back to show you it's not that difficult because this is in simple english and the verse is very short and it's not that hard to understand especially if you are somebody who is not uh, into sanatana dharma you are from the west and uh, you are new to bhagavad gita it is going to be very daunting and to think that you are going to handle a text that is going to talk about atma this is atma vidya this is a, this is a philosophical text this is not a devotional text although it it is based totally on devotion what i mean to say is this is going to show you to you this is going to introduce yourself to you who you are are you the body are you the mind so it just takes you to that uh, self inquiry so such a deep book to be taking it it would feel like oh my god this is difficult i cannot do it but you don't have to worry there are books that uh, are able to introduce you to this bo- this uh, text from lord in very easy english and uh, i'm also in this context recommending prabhupada's bhagavad gita as it is the best ever so this also has short translations if you don't want to do the uh, you know long purports you can just stay with the translation you just read the verse if you actually want to if you want to spend time on the verse and uh, learning its pronunciation there are so many youtube videos you can just uh, let it chant stop there uh, let it chant for example like uh, 113 just if you put 113 bhagavad gita it would bring up the chant you can just let it chant listen to it read the translation be done with it that would be your study and uh, definitely it's going to uh, stay with you the third reason that we tell ourselves is i don't have a teacher that is also not solid excuse because nowadays you know there are so many resources and uh, the one that i highly recommend is swami sarvapriyananda's bhagavad gita lectures in youtube swami sarvapriyananda is from the ramakrishna order he is very famous so you can look him up or you can contact your local iskon uh, temple there are so many in united states if you can google an iskon temple definitely international society for krishna consciousness they have they are the best people to you know do this they always have gita classes going on they also sell gita in so many languages uh, you know that would be your starting point to get into bhagavad gita uh, the i don't have a teacher may not be a big reason to say because you do have access like this you can go to his concenters or you can refer to youtube and uh, you know this expectation that some monk is going to just dip, descend from himalayas and teach us bhagavad gita that's not practical and i'm saying that because i used to feel that gita needs to be learned from you know ma- masters and you know monks but uh, the one that taught me gita in the beginning was a girl who was only a few years elder to me i was 19 when i was actually formally taught gita and she was probably 22 or something like that so it's uh, it's strange how we think of certain things but you know when you have the interest teacher does up- appear and the fourth one is i'm afraid there are several versions of i'm afraid that i've heard i'm going to handle two of them one is about the pronunciation what if i chant and i make a mistake and it's going to offend the god or whatever that's not that shouldn't be at all a concern because if you are interested in chanting gita there are again youtube videos you can chant with them you can learn from them or go to chinmaya center or iskon center there are people that can help you chant and these are not vedic mantras 
दीज आर नॉट यू नो समथिंग दट टू डू यज्ञ और कर्म और रिचुअल यू नो सो इफ इट इज अ रिचुअल एंड यू आर यू नो चैंटिंग फॉर दैट रीजन यस एवरीथिंग हैज टू बी परफेक्ट दिस इज अ again as i said this is a philosophical text you are trying to learn and if you want to chant out of your own interest you are chanting the lord will always you know no you cannot offend anybody by trying to chant and uh, you are learning anyway so that's not going to offend anybody so if you want to chant you can chant and you don't have to be afraid the second thing is uh there was somebody who came to me and said i'm afraid to learn gita or even keep gita at home is because if you have gita because it was uh, it, it happened in a war field i may get battles in home i will end up fighting with people and we will there will be no peace between uh, family members that's one of the very ignorant things that i've heard about bhagavad gita that is not true any scripture any scripture for that matter deserves a lot of respect and it is from the god itself any religion for that matter bible or quran or any other religious text they are all from god they are, they are all they have a specific purpose they they all take us closer to god and show us who you are, who we are uh, we are not our mistaken identities we are the children of god which uh, you know we are immortal souls this is what we are going to conclude from learning these texts that being the case how can something create battles at home that is just unreasonable and i i told that person that that's not true it's it must be your own belief that's causing the battles if any because a book and a sacred book uh, a scripture cannot cause anything like that so some people have superstitions about learning gita and keeping gita at home which which one need not have we don't have to be afraid to get into gita study and uh, you know this book is only going to give give and give there is nothing bad that can ever happen from studying a scripture i am not just talking about gita any scripture you want to learn it should be what is needed is just our devotion our willingness to learn and a lot of humility because we are after all dealing with what the lord said so that's about it for today's video i hope this was useful to you and i will meet you with more uh, in the future thank you and bye bye